Here I am doing my dreads again because I haven't done maintenance in a while. Um, but while I'm at it, I figured I'd answer a question that I've been getting lately. Uh, how do you keep your dreads blunted? Um, well, the fact of the matter is I really don't have to do that much to them to keep them blunted because uh, I found if you have tight knots from the beginning and keep your dreads tight and locked up, they're not going to get as loose. Um, it just doesn't happen. They don't loosen up as well. Um, but, however, if occasionally I do have one that hasn't has hit a spot where there's not a tight knot, for instance, this one has a little bit of a fray on the end there, um, typically what I'll do is, is this is only on need be uh, case, but what I'll do is, it's like, if, if you can see here, it's like, there's a knot right there, so it's probably not going to fray much past that knot, but let's say there's not a knot there. So what I'll do in advance is, I'll go ahead and take a rubber band, and just knot up around it as many times as I possibly can to make it super, super tight, right? Really hold it in place. Like that. So that's pretty tight now, as you can see. That's not going to go anywhere. Um, so then, after that, I'll take this, the scissors, trim the end, just keep it nice and flat. The possibility that it's going to fray up that part, it might. You can even rubber band closer if you want to, closer to the end. Um, to keep it from fraying anymore and then do the same thing. But then basically when the rubber band's on there, just don't touch it. Leave it there um, until it falls off. And by the time it falls off, you should have a nice tight knot formed there. And then you're not going to have to worry about um, the dreads fraying anymore. Um, there's also the other option if you have a longer dread, say, I have some here somewhere, like this, where there's been a spot where it's been kind of thin or I haven't knotted it for some reason as well. I'll just take it and tie it into a knot like that. And it seems to hold pretty well too. And sometimes even on the ends you'll have one that gets really, really loose and starts to fray a little bit. Um, you'll just tie it in a knot. It works really well too instead of using a rubber band. Like for instance this one here. As you can see I tied into a knot a long time ago and it's not really doing anything. It's kind of holding just the way it is because it can't fray through the knot. So, you know. And that kind of blends in better than rubber band. If you have enough length you can knot it off. But otherwise that's how I do it. Just keep them trimmed up on the ends and then rubber band them if you need be or um, tie them in a knot, that's about it. But I mean, it really, it, it also kind of, it looks nice if you do. Like this one, I don't really need to cut it. It's not frayed that bad, but um, I'll do both of those. This looks tidy and keeps it nice, so that's all I do.